Hey traders, for today's trade, we are looking at an option strategy known as a broken wing butterfly in McDonald's stock. So taking a look on MarketSmith, the stock has been drifting sideways for quite a while, but shares crossed below support at their 50 day and 21 day lines last week as well, a potentially bearish sign. The restaurant chain reported earnings on Tuesday, which sent shares lower in strong volume. There appears to be some level of support under the stock as the 200 day line hovers around 257. But all in all, the stock doesn't appear particularly bullish at this time. Today's trade aims to profit from McDonald's moving sideways, then slightly lower and closing between 250 and 260 on expiration. A broken wing butterfly with put options is created when an investor sells two puts at a given target strike price, then buys one lower strike put and one higher strike put relative to the two short puts. The lower strike put is going to be further away from the short puts than the higher strike put. Each put in this setup will have the same underlying stock, the same expiration date, and a different strike price, except for the two short puts which will have the same strike price. With a broken wing butterfly, with put options, you will receive a credit or a premium for opening the trade. These spreads are designed to benefit from decreases in underlying volatility. The trade will make a profit even if the stock price goes down as long as it does not exceed the credit spread strikes. If it does, the trade will start to lose money. On the upside, the trade has zero risk. You'll earn the biggest profit if the stock moves slightly lower towards the short put strikes. If the stock moves below the credit spread strikes, then you'll end up with a loss. But the good news is with your risk, it's defined. So you know your worst case scenario before entering the trade. So now with all that said, let's take a look at my trading platform and set up a real life trade using McDonald's. So looking at McDonald's here on Thinkorswim, to start off this trade, we are going to set up the first leg using a March 17th expiration. We are looking to buy one 245 put and we'll add a leg where we are looking to sell two 255 puts and then for the final leg we are looking to buy one 260 put. So using the March 17th expiration, we're looking to buy one put with a 245 strike, sell two puts with a 255 strike, and buy one put with a 260 strike. Notice that the upper strike put is five points away from the middle put, and the lower put is 10 points away. The trade will result in a net credit of $15, which means there's no risk on the upside. The worst that can happen is all the puts expire worthless, leaving the trader with a $15 return. On the downside, the maximum loss can be calculated by taking the width between the first two strikes of $5 and multiplying it by 100 and then subtracting the premium received. That gives us $485. The maximum gain can be calculated the same way, but instead by adding the premium received rather than subtracting. This gives us $515 total. The ideal scenario for the trade is that McDonald's stock stays flat initially and then slowly drifts lower to close around 255 at expiration. The total profit zone is between 250 and 260. As for trade management, I would set a stop loss of 20% of total capital at risk. As always, remember that if you're new to options, make sure you practice with a virtual account for risking any real money. And remember that options are complex and in some cases, investors can lose 100% or more of their investment. Check out the new options trader app from IBD for digestible options, education, and tons of great trade ideas. And be sure to join us here for our regular options content where we break down a new trade idea every day. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you wanna watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.